Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again, the third video in the same outfit, so don't mind that and now my hair is all messed up. I don't know what's going on. But um, I'm here to do uh, another video. What about? Well, I'll tell you what about. My scar. This one. I just did a video about my ectopic pregnancy and um, I gave you a little bit of insight of who I am and this is also a part of me so what happened is well after i got pregnant with my daughter i ended up having this big bulge in my neck huge huge bulge in my neck and um my ob she was like something's wrong with your thyroid you know you need to go get it checked and um we ended up leaving from virginia to washington and i ended up coming here in November and by December my doctor was all over it he's like listen um that is huge you need to get get it taken care of so we're gonna go ahead and um yeah I'm sorry so um yeah what I was saying um yeah so in December he was like you know we need to get you scheduled for surgery and at that time my daughter was only like five months um so Anyway, we ended up scheduling it for January, January 27th to be exact. I told him, you know, can it please be after the holidays? No, it was before January. I think it was January 15th or something like that. And I was like, can it please be after the holidays so we can just spend some time together and everything? So I went to, search, well, we went to the consultation. And he's like, listen, I'm going to take out just half of the thyroid, the one that's swollen. Um, there's no need to take out the whole thing unless there's something else wrong. And the chances of something being wrong is so unlikely because you're young and all this other stuff. So... You know, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. So I asked him, I said, I've seen this. I've looked it up and it said on the surgery that you're going to have like, you can possibly have that tube to, for the leakage when you have a surgery. And he's like, you're probably not going to need that. You know, you'll, you'll be fine. Everything. Anyway, come to surgery. I went to surgery. Um, They took out the half. I came home with the tube. <laughs> of course I did. Right. So I came home with that tube. And um, then after that, he was like, you know, you should be fine. I should call you in the next couple of days with your results, you know, because we send it off to pathology to see what's going on. And I was like, okay. So we went like weeks. I haven't heard anything from these people. I'm like, what's going on? Finally, I got a call and the doctor said, hey, um, I need you to come into the office. I'm like, uh oh, that can't be good. You know, usually doctors don't tell you to come into the office. They, they give you results. Went to the office, me and my husband. It was like a holiday. I'll never forget. I think it was like Mark, Martin Luther King or something. But it was still in January. Or was it January? I don't know. It was a holiday, though. We went and the place was closed. No, I'm lying. Sorry. My, my dates are getting all messed up. When I went in for my... It wasn't a holiday. We went in. They put us in a room. And we're in the room for a long time. And I'm sweating. I'm like, what's going on? Finally, they sent in the female doctor. She's not even the one who did my surgery. Some other doctor. And she came in and she was like, well, I um, just want to let you know that uh, your test results came back and it's positive for something. The term she used wasn't like in regular people term. It was like doctor term. And I was like, I can't remember what she said exactly. But I was like, so what does that mean? And she's like, well, it means that you have cancer. And I was like. She said, but the good thing is, like, this is um, thyroid cancer, so it's not, like, the worst cancer to have. I'm like, lady, it's cancer, but, you know, it, it's still good that it's, it's thyroid cancer. Anyway, I was like, so finally, like, after, they gave us some time for me and my husband to process. And um, finally, the doctor that did my surgery came in. He's like, listen, Janelle, I didn't think that the chances of you having cancer was even here because, you know, whatever the signs you young blah 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 I was like so what do we do doc he said well you have to go back in for another surgery and take out the other side because if there's cancer on this side the chances are there'll be cancer on the other side and I was like shit okay he's like and we can't wait too long and I just had surgery I wasn't even healed yet and I have to go back in so I went back in for my second surgery and when they did the test results again it actually came back cancer um and um, the cancer had spread to my lymph node. So it wasn't just cancer. <laughs> it was spreading. It was starting to spread. 
so I did my cancer treatment. I did my cancer surgery and I did my radiation like about a few months later. They wanted to give me some time to stop breastfeeding because I was breastfeeding. My daughter was solely just taking breast. She wasn't taking milk. She was actually very, um, what's the word? Her acid reflex was really bad. So she, the only milk that she was able to tolerate was actually my breast milk. And I had to like put off my treatment plan till she was old enough to start getting like baby food, which was like a few months, like a quite a few months because she wasn't taking anything in except like water and some juice, but she wasn't taking any kind of formula and stuff. So I had to put off my treatment plan until she was able to start taking some regular food intake. Anyway, I did my radiation. I had to go back into the hospital for that. I did my um, my treatment and um, right now I have to say that I am cancer free. So thank God for that. Yay. High five. <laughs> um, I'm cancer free right now. Um, I'm still, I still get monitored. I still go in for tests and stuff and all this other stuff, all this other things. However, the most important is that my cancer is not, they're not detecting any cancer right now. So wherever I had spread today, it was able to get all of it. Um, so a couple things, the side effects of my treatment is, um, I gained a lot of weight. Um, I'm on Synthroid and uh, sometimes I don't feel like my hormones is under control. So I've gained a crap little weight. And the problem with having no thyroid is that I'm hypothyroidism. I have hypothyroidism. So I have no, like, it's really hard to, to lose weight. So that's one of my biggest issues. So I've been battling my weight and it has given me so much like self-esteem problems. You guys wouldn't even know. Um, I'm sharing this with you guys because I'm sure there's somebody out there who's feeling this way. Um, my weight has been just bothering me. Like I still feel some days I still feel like, oh, you're beautiful today. But then there's days I'm just like, I don't even want to get up out of bed because I already know I'm going to look at this flat, flabby, flat flat, not flat, flabby, fat, blubber, belly, gut just jiggling, you know, my big face, my big, uh, that's how I feel just some days, and then some days I'm like, okay, I don't look too bad today, but my face is obviously a lot fuller, I don't know if you guys, I probably show a picture of what I used to look like before, My, but anyway, that's one of the side effects, another side effect is actually insomnia and headaches, I have super crazy migraines, Sorry about that. Like, my family's going in and out. We're having a little barbecue. But anyway, so another side effect is my menstrual cycle is so messed up. I, I know for, like, about six or seven months or so, I just was constantly bleeding. And um, the doctors was like, well, every test came back fine. And you're just going to have to get on birth control to regulate it or do, like, some kind of implant. But I'm like, Doc, me and my husband still want to have more kids. So going on birth control is kind of defeat the purpose doesn't it since and I'm already having like difficulty with fertility so do you really want to put me in a bind but anyway um that's one of the, another side effect um I think some of the side other side effects is like joint pain which I've experienced and like all up in here like I still have pain I still have problem like sometimes it hurts to swallow and also um my scar still hurts like it's still tender um, it's only been about two years, a little or a little less than two years since I had my surgery. And another thing that also I think that I'm having a little problem with is um my I used to sing like not professionally, but I used to like <laughs> I like singing, and I used to sing for the choir at church and everything. But uh, I noticed that my voice, if I start to go too long or just talking. It hurts so bad here, and I don't know if it just feels like a really bad sore throat, but not sore throat. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but like, um, even so, even if I try to hit a high note, I'm like, ooh, I feel it. So they said my voice box could be damaged, but it wasn't, they thought it wasn't damaged in during the surgery, so I'm not sure what that is about. I don't think it's my voice box because I can talk just fine. It's just, if I'm trying to go for a long period of time, that's when I start to feel that pain. And um, 
I think that's one of the few side effects, but I know like my hormones is probably one of the biggest and my headaches, my migraines are terrible and I have crazy, crazy insomnia and everybody experiences different, but that's just my, and I just want to let you guys know, yes, I've been through a lot. Um, sometimes I have a good day. Sometimes I have a bad day. I've been through so much, but I try to stay positive. I have a almost three year old that thinks mommy is a superwoman. So I have to just get up and do what I need to do, whether I'm in pain or not, whether I've slept or not, whether I have a headache or not, she doesn't care or she don't know. She doesn't know that mommy needs a little time. She just wants mommy and I have to be, you know, so it's kind of rough, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade my experience because one, had I not had her, I don't even know if they would have found the cancer and God knows how it would have spread. Everybody's like, oh, it's thyroid, but guess what? Thyroid cancer has killed people. Like, it's cancer. It's not it's not them putting sweet butterflies in your stomach. No, it's cancer. So it's there's a possibility of it spreading. So I'm so grateful for that. And then I'm grateful for this move because I ended up having one of the best surgeons in the country to do my, my, my surgery. And I ended up having, like, one of the best care at the hospital that I had everything done and the doctor that I see now. So I'm so grateful for those um things and I am grateful for the support of my husband like he was there like through thick and thin and he was there for all of it and I mean you're so he's supposed to be but he was really taking on those role of being mom and dad to our daughter while I couldn't do the stuff that I was supposed to do and my best friend she stepped in and she helped out and she, luckily she was here and I'm just like I said I'm just so grateful for the positive stuff that came out of this whole negative experience but that's my story of my scar i know you guys see it in my videos and nobody ever comment about it and i'm so glad that you guys didn't because it's not something that i like to talk about all the time or even bring up and sometimes i don't like when people point it out but i'm sharing my life on on internet i'm sharing my world i'm sh letting you guys in a little piece of us so you know um you see it it's there so I got this tattoo right here. It says, never trust your, never trust your fear because it doesn't know your strength. Yeah, I got a tattoo. I don't even know what to say. Shame on me. It says, never trust your fears because it doesn't know your strength. And that's why I got that tattoo for that reason. And I also got this one. It's in Latin and it just means remember to look. And, you know, that's that's my story. And, again, I, I'm, like, so sad. sorry that I'm bringing you guys, like, just down stuff and everything like that. But I just want to let you guys know who I am. And, and it took me a while to start my YouTube channel because I was so nervous about sharing my world with people. And I'm so proud private trust me guys like I don't even I don't leave my house very often I don't talk to people I keep everything here but you know sometimes it's easier to just get on your computer and say what you need to say without somebody interrupting you and that's that's what it is and I just I'm just happy for the positive feedback that I've been getting on my channel and yes I don't have a million subscribers I know this and I mention it all the time on videos but I just want to let you guys know that doesn't matter to me of course I would love to have a million subscribers and a million views on all my videos but that I didn't do it for that I did it because it's an outlet you know and sometimes you just need that little break little escape from reality to get dolled up and get on camera um do I look like this all the time no I don't. This is once in a while thing. Uh, whenever I go out, I try to put myself together. You know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, ending on a good note. I just, I'm so glad for everything that happened in my life that led me in the to the person who I am. I am so grateful because I used to be like one of those people that just was closed off and kept everybody at a distance, and I was just kind of negative and down. But now I feel like I'm not. I'm not the most positive person in the world, I'll tell you that, but I'm definitely a better person and I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm maturing and I'm just so grateful and I'm thanking God. That's all I mean, that's all I can do. And I love you guys so much and I thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye. See you on the next one.